Caption! How have you been getting on learning about money? Have you been practising with it? We have, haven't we, Walt? Walt, what are we going to learn about money today? Okay, today we are learning to recognise coins. What does recognise mean, Walt? Oh, I see. Walt says that recognise means when you know what something is by looking at it. So we are going to know what some different coins are by looking at them. We're going to recognise them. Thanks, Walt. Let's get busy. So before we start getting all of our pennies out of my piggy bank, let's have a go at playing the game we've been practising with your mummies and daddies. I've borrowed Imogen's cup that she painted. And here... I've got some pennies. They're worth one pence. They're one P coins. When you close your eyes, I'm going to drop some pennies into this cup and I want you to see if you can hear how much money goes in. How many pennies are in the cup? Okay, everyone, close your eyes. No peeping. Here we go. Switch your listening ears on. Open your eyes. How many coins did you hear? I'll empty the cup out and we'll count them. Here we go. There's one, count with me. Two. Three. Four. Five. Five 1p coins. That's one, add one, add one, add one, add one. All together, we've got five pence. A five pence looks like this, but it can also look like this, five pennies. Okay, close your eyes. No peeping this time. Listen carefully. Open your eyes. How many was there that time? I'll count them out into my hand so we can check to see if you're right. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. We've got eight pennies, eight 1p coins. So we've made eight pence. Now there isn't a coin that is worth eight pennies. So we would have to use different pennies to make up the amount of eight pence. Like this, we could use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight 1p coins. What else could we use to make eight? What about a 5p? Add a 2p. What would that make? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What would we need to make 8? A 1 pence coin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 pence. Well done, everyone. Okay, I've brought my piggy bank down and I've emptied it out to see what coins I've got inside. Let's play a game. I'm going to show you some of my coins and I wonder if you could guess what coin I'm holding up. I'm not going to show you the whole coin, just a little bit at a time. Tricky. 
I'm going to choose this one first. Okay, get ready. Here we go. This coin is a silver coin and it's a circle. It hasn't got any pointy bits on it. It's got no sides. It's just got one circle that goes all the way around. Um, if I lift it a little bit further up, you might be able to see a little bit more. Now it's quite a big silver coin. If I lift it up a little bit further, can you see the number that's on the bottom? It's quite tricky to see. You might have to go close to the screen. It's a 10. This is a 10p coin. It's worth 10 pennies, 10 one p's. Well done everyone. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do this one next. This coin is, oh, it's quite small. And it's not silver, it's a bronzy colour. We call it copper. And it's a circle, it's got no pointy bits, no corners or edges. Um, lift it up a little bit further. What do you think it might be? Any guesses? How about now? Can you see the number at the bottom? It's a 1p coin! This is worth just one pence. You wouldn't get very much from the shop for 1p anymore. You have to have coins that are worth a little bit more than just 1p. Let's try this one. Hmm. This is a silver coin. Put it here so you can see it. It's a silver coin and it's not a circle. It's got some pointy bits, look. Some sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's got seven little pointy bits. Seven corners. Uh, so that means that its shape is a heptagon. A seven-sided shape is called a heptagon. It's a bit of a medium-sized coin, really. It's not very small, but it's also not very big. I'll lift it up a little bit further. I wonder if you can see the number that's at the bottom. What coin is this? It's a 20p coin. Well done. Just a few more to go. Oh, this is quite a big coin. It's a copper colour and it's a circle. It's got no corners and no edges. I'll lift it up a little bit further. It's quite a big one. I wonder if you can see the number that's at the bottom. This coin is a 2p coin. It's worth two pennies, two pence. Let's try this one. Oh, this one's so small for me to hold that I nearly dropped it. It's a very small coin. And it's round and silver, a bit like the 10 pence coin, but it's much, much smaller. I'll lift it up a little bit more. Have you noticed that our coins have got pictures on them? Pictures of the Queen. Can you see the number? It's quite tricky to see on this one because it's so small. What is this coin? It's a five pence coin, five P. It's worth five pennies. I've got two more left in my pile. Ooh, now this is a hard one. This coin is two different colours. The outside of it is a golden colour, but the inside circle is a silvery colour. It looks like it's a circle, but it has got little tiny corners that are just sticking out just a tiny bit if you look really, really carefully. It's not perfectly round. It's got little lumpy bits around the sides. This is worth quite a lot of pennies of one peas. Have you guessed it yet? I'll hold it right up. This coin is one pound. 
it's not a one pence coin like this one. It's a one pound coin. Do you know how many one peas would make a pound? How many pennies is it worth? That's right, it's worth one hundred pence. This pound is the same as one hundred of these. You can get quite a lot for a pound at the shop. Sometimes you can get a little treat like a toy with a pound coin. You could get a bag of apples with a pound coin. There are lots of things that you can get with a pound because it's worth 100 pennies. I've got one more left. This is the biggest coin I have. And it's a silver coin. It has got little corners and sides on it. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's another seven-sided shape. Can you remember what the word is for a seven-sided shape? It's a heptagon. Well done. It's quite big. It's silver. It's got the queen's face on this side. And on this side, my coin doesn't have a number. It's got a word. And written on this coin is the word 50. That's because this is a 50p coin. This is worth 50 of these pennies. It's a 50p coin. Well done everyone. That's all of the coins that were in my money box. Do you think we did it? Do you think we've learnt how to recognise coins? Let's do one last check and see if Walter agrees. This coin is 2p. One P. Ten P. Twenty P. Five P. Fifty P. And one pound. Well done reception. Tomorrow we're going to play another game. We're going to play shops. I'll see you then. Bye.